all love cute love stories, but what happens when those cute characters and those cute stories sadly pass away? <clears throat> I'm looking at you, Violin. So, since all of us tend to cry when our favorite characters' life stories come to a tragic conclusion, I began to compile anime where the couple gets to have a happy ending, get married, have a nice honeymoon, and then continue their life with some kids running around. This is the third volume of the series, and we'll see another 10 anime with endings without tearjerkers. When you see a romance in a piano, I know what you think, but don't worry, this time, this show actually has a happy ending, so you can start watching this without a tissue box. It has a premise similar to Your Truth in December, and it follows two musicians who reunite with each other because of their love for music. This anime has a lot of laughs, and the good thing about it is that you never see them coming. The romance relationship is also very interesting and also feels unique, and instead of seeing everything in high school instead of romance anime, here we have a musical school. If you're a music genius, you'll love it. If you're a romance anime fan, you'll love it more. And like I said, this time it's violins and pianos without tissues. Thank you, anime. We always see a romance mixing up with genres like action or fantasy, but how about something blended in with a mystery genre? Here we have a ghost heading to the paranormal club of the school to find answers about her death. The premise clearly isn't paving way to the romance route, but as the series moves on, it adds a bit of romance here and there to make the overall story interesting. Dusk Maiden of Amnesia is like the X-Files, but with a cute anime ghost girl taking the lead. Despite the romance, you'll also be attracted to this anime's almost eerie atmosphere. It's like the anime Gosik and another got together and made a baby and that baby decided to kill her two parents and let us solve the crime years later. Okay, I might be exaggerating, but I really don't know how to phrase this anime better than that. <laughs> Okay, fine, fine, I'll stop with the cruel Shakespeare jokes. I won't be retelling the plot because even the newborn babies these days know the story of Romeo and Juliet. Did you know that there was even an anime called Romeo and Juliet? Well, boarding school Juliet is the same, but happening inside a high school. At first, I expected the same old love story with some high school shenanigans, but soon I was really impressed by how the story handled the romance and its characters. The romance is cute with new tropes adding to the usual high school plot, and even though there are a lot of cliches in between, you'll get hooked to the story from the very start. I mean, come on, the story starts with high schoolers fighting each other. Camouflage <laughs> <laughs> It's a harem, and that's only one good point of this show. Fruits of Grisaia is an anime that does the harem thing right. Even though the anime is more fast-paced than the visual novel, it still makes sure to shine the spotlight on each girl before their respective arc ends. Aside from everyone collectively agreeing Yumiko is the best girl, it is also said to be best to play the visual novels first before watching the anime. Since it's based on a visual novel, the original ending branches into many paths, but the anime decided to go full harem and give our main character a harem ending. And don't think of this as a light and funny romance anime, things get a lot darker after the movie. Besides, I've been using Fruits of Kursaya thumbnails for all my past uploads, so I should at least do justice by mentioning this on the list. <laughs> 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 
Wolf Girls. Don't you love them? But Spice and Wolf isn't all about fan service with Wolf Girls. <clears throat> Except for that one scene, or a few more scenes, but whatever. Spice and Wolf knows how to blend in the story between a deity and a merchant into this medieval looking fantasy setting. You can learn about trade, you can learn about their cultures, and most of all, the anime doesn't solely rely on the romance of the duo to carry it forward. Spice and Wolf also has the voice actors of Lelouch and Callan returning to voice the main characters. So even if one of them ended as a dead body and the other as fan service material in the original Code Geass trilogy, this time you can see them reunited and get a happy ending. Hmm, an anime should have a happy ending if it has Wolf Girls, right? <laughs> Why don't you think this romance anime doesn't have a happy ending? It's the definition of a wholesome romance anime everyone has been searching for in their life. It starts off with an accident but evolves into a marriage and then into the survival of an awkward cute couple inside a small home. Todikaku Kawaii was definitely one of the best romance anime to get released in fall of last year and something that diverted away from all the usual tropes we saw. Unlike many other romance anime that that makes things complex by adding feelings, family issues, love rivals, and every cliche into the mix, Tony Kaku Kawaii simply keeps its story slow and interesting. And what can I say, it's kawaii, so watch this anime while sitting on your couch and munching some popcorn. This <laughs> If Tony Kaku Kawaii is not the definition of kawaii, then Tomiko Love Story is the definition of cute romance anime. It's beautiful, sweet, cute, and after you watch it, you can't help but cry after looking back. It's a continuation of the Tomiko Market anime series and the final concluding movie of the story. There's one girl trying to find an ambition larger than her past and one boy trying to fulfill his confession. The movie adds a lot more romance to the story than the original anime, Tomiko Market, and being animated by Kyoto, you know you can expect the kawaii effect to have the highest accent. I'm also happy about all these characters getting a happy ending because the last thing we needed was to cry for a dead restaurant girl. Tamago, why? <laughs> This isn't about Emma Watson or Emma Stone because those girls are too real for this anime. How about we move back into the Victorian era where London was populated by anime girls. But being a historical romance anime, Emma does many things right. For example, the show's romance has a very old feel to it and it's more like watching an adaptation of a book written by Emily Bronte rather than watching a modern anime. The anime also has the famous class conflict coming back into play with the usual rich and poor themes hitting us over and over again. But as a fan of many old novels like Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights, I definitely fell in love with this anime. And by the way, just because you see a maid as the main character, don't expect fan service along with the word Goshujin-sama. So, Oh my. Okay, let's collectively say ew before we proceed. When Tsubaki Akira decides to taste the drool, yes, you heard that correctly, of the weirdest girl in school, a mysterious relationship forms between them. And that's why kids shouldn't try to taste another person's drool. But on the other hand, if you do, still ew, you can get one bundled package with a mysterious girlfriend. Mysterious girlfriend X may look like pure etchy from the poster, but you get a romance full of saliva that will make your own saliva turn into tears. And that doesn't mean you're going to cry. It's completely unorthodox, and it also has a nice way of giving unique character arcs for its main characters. So stop drooling and start watching this anime.
When an anime starts with a bunny girl walking through a library, you know you are watching a show written by a man of culture. But Bunny Girl Senpai, as most people have explicitly mentioned, is not about bunny girls. It's about the different issues teenagers face and how each of them cope with it differently. It's a love story that also discusses a lot of psychological themes as well. While the anime itself isn't something that is happy or sad, it definitely has a happy ending because from the signs it displays through its early episodes, you can say it's going to end up with the main couple reuniting, getting married, and doing whatever things anime couples do these days. So go watch Bunny Girl Senpai to experience a lot of things, and then end it all off with a nice and happy ending with less tears and lots and lots of smiles. So, there goes 10 anime with endings that make you feel warm instead of breaking your heart and then hammering it with a coffin. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be updated as soon as we release a new video. Stay safe guys, and I'll see you in the next video.